glad you're watching. Well, another episode in the soup category. You know when you go out to the big box stores and they're tasting out ham at a really good price and you're hungry and you just can't resist? Then it's a couple days later, oh my God, what am I gonna do with all this? Well, let's make a soup with it. Now here's a little bit of a twist on your traditional split pea and ham soup. I'm gonna add a little curry to mine. So what I've already done is I have taken the ham bone, put it into the pot with the large chunks that were on it because, especially the ones with all the big silvers in it and the tendons, put it in the pot and simmered it for a couple hours to come up with some ham broth. It's not as long as I would like to have, have simmered it, but that's okay. We're going to fortify it. It's going to be great. Now into our little soup pot is going to go a little bit of olive oil and or any kind of white oil. Then we're going to put some chopped carrots in the bottom. And then on top of that, we're going to layer with some chopped onions. This is the same pot that I used to cook the broth in with the bone. I just dumped it in there. It still had a little bit of broth in the bottom. So now all the vegetables are in. I'm going to press some garlic in the bottom on top of the carrot and onion. Notice I didn't put it in at the very bottom of the pan because I didn't want it to brown because I don't want any chance of this getting bitter. But it can go in with the rest of these vegetables on top and it'll just soften as the vegetables cook. So we have a little bit of pressed garlic in there. I also cooked the stock, the ham bone, with a few bay leaves in it. So that'll, that'll flavor it nicely. Now, while these vegetables are softening slightly, I'm also going to add a little bit of curry powder to it. You could make your own, but uh, it's kind of a process because there's a lot of spices that do go into curry. So we're lucky enough, we have a nice Indian shop and a Lebanese shop where I can go get really good curry. And oh my God, it's just, it smells heavenly. I like the mattress curry powder. You can, there are different, there's hot curry powders. You know, it depends on who's making them, what they're putting into it. But curry is really, really good. And so we're, we'll put that over the vegetables because I want the flavor to come out of that a little bit. Because the ham didn't have quite enough time to cook, you know, I just wanted to get some soup done because it's soup weather where I am. We are just putting a little bit of base in the bottom. You can buy ham base almost everywhere in the grocers. And I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of mayo paste. Now, a lot of times, you might buy a little can of tomato paste when all you really need is a tablespoon. Then what do you do with it? Take it out of the can so it doesn't end up acidifying and going bad in the can and then taste like metal. That's really terrible. So out of the pan into a glass or a plastic container for the refrigerator and then you can get a little bit more storage time out of it. Now, I'm adding a little bit of water to the bottom of that, and I'm also going to add, well, no, you know what I will do? Is I'm going to add a little bit of the ham stock to this tomato paste container so that we can clean it really well. It sounds like a weird combination. This is a soup that when I used to work at a country club when I was a young girl, it was called Chippewa Soup, and I believe the recipe came from the club of the same name. What they had turned into recipe was a can of split pea soup, 
a can of tomato soup. Combine them both in a pot, add some curry, warm it up, and voila soup. Well, okay, so it was good, but this is better because you're making your own ham stock. You're adding your own curry, which will be much fresher, and a little bit of tomato paste will have a little bit more flavor than just your, you know, regular old tomato soup mix. This is cooking and it's smelling so good. So now that these are browned nicely, I'm adding all of the ham stock to this. I'll leave the meat in the bottom of the pot because I want to break that up a little bit. So I'm going to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to taste just to see where the broth is. Wow, it tastes really good. Now, I'm going to add about half a pound of some split peas to this amount. And we're going to simmer this for a while so that the split peas cook. Split peas double in size as you cook them. So I didn't want to make this super thick. So I think a half a bag would probably do well, and that's a one pound bag. I think an eight ounce bag will be fine for this amount. Now, actually, I take that back. We're gonna add just a little bit more. Okay, yes, okay, that's right. Now when I stir it, I can actually see the peas get stirred around before I couldn't see enough peas in it. Now, we're going to simmer that until the peas are done. And while that is simmering, I'm going to take the ham apart and clean the bone ever so slightly. I could put the ham bone back in there and simmer with it, but I want this to cool. My dog's going to be so happy. Oh my God, look at this. The cartilage just falls apart. It's a wonderful, I'm gonna leave some of the meat on it for her because that'll really make her day. And the ham that was on the bone that had the tendons in it now falls apart. I think that's on this part. Put a little more of the broth in there. While I'm waiting for the split peas to cook, I am also at the same time taking, I'll put the bay back in there, I'm taking the meat that had fallen off the bone and making sure that one little thin bone's not in there. And I'm going to add that to the pot so the peas have something to cook up with. And this is going to be an absolutely delicious beyond belief soup little tomato little curry and quite satisfying especially on a nice cold day we're getting a little bit of snow up here today so this will be great to have later keeps really well in the refrigerator and it also freezes well this is a good soup to keep in mind for after Easter well a few days ago I had a soup marathon in my kitchen I made three one-pot wonders really fast. You'll be able to find all the videos on my channel. However, they were made and then refrigerated, and I'll show you what we came up with. I made out of the piece of ham that I had and the bone that came out of it, I made the broth. I made some split pea soup with ham. Now. I'm going to put this in a bowl and you'll be able to see. It came out not as green as the split pea is if you would just cook the split peas and ham because I added to this some tomato and curry. It smells so good. Curry and tomato is really an interesting blend and it's, it's really quite tasty. And so... To this, we will also add a little blob of sour cream on the top, and I'll garnish it with a little fresh granary. 
that happens to be cilantro because that's what happens to be in the refrigerator but just to make it look a little fresh and there we have some split pea ham with curry and tomato it's really good soup now when you mm, it's really good soup now when you let this sit in the refrigerator for you know after you make it for a couple of days the flavor gets better for sure and it's really 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 thick when you pull it out of the refrigerator because of the broth having all the natural gelatin in it from the bones so you don't really have to thin it what I would do first is warm it and see if it needs thinning chances are it won't but there you have some really good split pea ham with a little tomato and curry try that one out it's quite tasty another one-pot wonder mm -hmm.